Well, I got some good news for you guys, and I got some bad news. The good news is, is Sony actually mentioned the PlayStation Vita at the Tokyo Game Show Award. Yay! The bad news is, well... Greetings, fellow Vita fans, and once again, I'm coming at you with a video. Yeah, I didn't think it was really appropriate to say an exciting video this time around, for obvious reasons. Now before I begin, I just gotta give one little word of warning here. At the time I'm making this video, I literally just woke up, so if you guys see me kinda conk out or maybe even pass out during this video, that's probably why. Didn't get my full Z's last night. As you can tell from the title though, Sony has finally done it guys, and I think most of us in the Vita community have probably seen this coming for quite some time now, we just kinda weren't sure when it was actually gonna happen. It wasn't really a matter of if, but more a matter of when. But they did at long last give us an announcement of when the PlayStation Vita was going to be officially discontinued. Now this link comes from Gimitsu. I know it's like my all-time favorite website, and it goes as followed. PS Vita production to end in 2019 in Japan. No plans for a successor, Sony says. PS Vita will be manufactured until 2019 in Japan, and since the Asian region was the only region really left, that's pretty much confirming that this is a global discontinuation, and there are currently no plans for a successor. Sony Interactive Entertainment Senior Vice President, ugh, I can't pronounce things even more now that I'm half asleep, Hiroyuki Oda told Famitsu at Tokyo Game Show 2018, and I quote, Currently, we do not have any plans regarding a new handheld device, Oda said. In Japan, we will manufacture PlayStation Vita until 2019. From there, shipping will end. End quote. After that, he did go on to talk about the PlayStation Mini or the PlayStation Classic or whatever they're calling it, but that was all he had mentioned about the Vita. But wow, this is this is definitely a hard pill to swallow to say the least here, everyone. First we had that pill with Bloodstain, now we have it with the Vita in general. How do I personally feel about it though? I've always considered myself a glass half full kind of guy. You know, looking at the positive no matter how big the negative might feel. And I gotta say, when I first heard this news, I wasn't as sad as I was expecting me to be, surprisingly enough even to myself. And I think one of the reasons for that is when I really kind of reminisce because this is like the perfect time to really reflect on things, when I look back at the PlayStation Vita's lifespan, if you count the time that it debuted in Japan, 2011, all the way to 2019 when they say it's going to discontinue, that's 8 plus years. In fact, somebody on the Vita Lounge forum even happened to mention that it's only one year less than the Game Boy Advance, and the Game Boy Advance was a huge success for Nintendo. So just at the fact alone that the PlayStation Vita came only one year away from achieving that, that's quite an accomplishment if you ask me, especially for a handheld that everybody kept giving negative press over and saying it was dead from the very beginning. I think, in the end, we Vita fans should be proud. Proud that we were able to keep this handheld going for as long as it did. It was really because of us, the community, why it thrived for so long. Whether it was the fans, people creating websites dedicated to it, people creating Facebook groups dedicated to it, companies like Limited Run Games, Signature Edition Games, Strictly Limited Games, you know, these companies were still supporting it with physical titles even though everyone was saying there was no need to. And in the end, I think I'm satisfied with that. I feel content at how much we accomplished with this little handheld. And don't get discouraged guys because regardless of all this, we still have quite a lot of games on the horizon up until 2019. And when I say a lot of games, I mean a lot of games. And I plan to cover each and every one of those for you. Not to mention, that year's still a long way away and we're not sure when in 2019 it's going to be discontinued. Whether it's going to be on the deadline in March or maybe sometime at the end of 2019. I will admit I was kind of hoping it would have made it to 2020 just because of all those potential imports we might have gotten, but it is what it is. We must continue moving forward. So yikes guys, this is a pretty big subject now. Uh, what do you think about all this? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. You've heard how I feel, now I would love to hear how you feel? Uh, how has this news affected you? Did you see this coming or has it been a total shock? By all means, let's have a discussion about this. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time.